those are some pretty sick pillows you got there, Austin. <laughs> this is a, this is our second ever sponsored video. Yeah. And they're, they're pillows, are these fucking Look sick? Look at these cool ass pillows though. That's right. You slept with them, you slept with one last night, did you not? I've slept with them two nights in a row now. Damn. And they're really cool. Look, I've, yeah, I've used them twice and they're still this firm, baby. <laughs> you, like, I've like, used them a whole two nights and they're still pillows. Dude, okay, yeah, but one night after normal pillows, they're literally like, okay, it's now squished in half forever. That's true. But these just pop right back. Like That's I true. fold them in half and stuff and they still keep coming. They come back, they always come back for more. So these are OXA pillows. I think that's how you say it. OXA. OXA, OXA is the brand. These pillows are permanently soft and highly resilient. A unique pillow with non-flattened system, it, they're very soft and they're very durable too. After 50,000 pounding cycles, mm -hmm. pillows retain 91% of its volume and 94% of its softness. Yeah, let me tell you, after giving it 51,000 poundings last night, <laughs> it holds up pretty well. It's very and comfy. They have independent suspension and active contour, 40 inner coils wrapped separately and capable of individual movement. In other words, they're very soft, they're very durable, and they feel amazing on your head. Yeah, super cool. It's full of like these cloth springs that just keep popping the pillow right back up. The Percale weave cover on these pillows, they have 3D spacer mesh, silky fibers. They offer exceptional cooling breath ability. With every slight pressure of the head, warm air will flow out, taking away heat and moisture. And every time the pressure is released, fresh air will gently flow in. Yeah, that's these little guys right here, the little vents here. When you squish it, it go out the side, baby. That's right. If you have trouble sleeping, you might want to check out these pillows in the description yeah. below. And thank you so much for OXA for sponsoring this video and helping us to continue make videos. Yeah, go check out that link. Get yourself a nice pillow. Take care of or that. Or if you neck. just want to have a <laughs> pillow fight with your boy, <laughs> that works too. <laughs> All right, Dickie Diners, what is good today? We are looking at the worst things you've ever eaten. It's kind of like ever. putting your mouth or near your mouth. Yeah, things that are that are just <laughs> yuckies in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we went to Facebook as we do for these videos, and we got some answers from you, the fans, and let's just get right into it and see Wrong. what nasty things you put in your mouth. You dirty, dirty bunch of folk. All right. Demetrius Kerr says, spit from three people in a shot glass. Uh, spit. <laughs> three separate people spit, too. For real. It's and it, it could be like spit. consistency, like. They're all different. Thick, loogie. Yeah. Whatever like, those people have been eating today is all like riddled throughout there. I want to know why. Why did you do that? I know, there's just no context. Like, I'm just trying why, to why'd you spit from. Is it like a dare? What? Yeah, what'd you do? They're just like, spit in the shot glass, spit in the shot glass, spit in the shot glass. <laughs> that's, I mean... That's pretty gross, man. I've heard of that when I was a kid. It was like some kind of like friendship thing or something. Wait, what? Yeah, you saw spit in a cup and then like... I've, I've heard of it <laughs> when I was a kid. It's like, it's like some messed up shit. It's like when you want to get all your kids chicken pox at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You want to kill all your kids, put a little, <laughs> put a little arsenic in there and just spit. Not, baby. All right, Caleb Jones says kiwi skin. That's not that bad. Uh, yeah, it was, a. It was a no. It was a callback. He had the winky face. Mm -hmm. So you monsters that eat kiwi skin. You hey, me. I've eaten kiwi skin. I had it once. It's not that bad, but it, the texture is fucking weird. It's fuzzy. It's like <laughs> it's like eating a tennis ball. Well, it's, it's like a it's like an extra fuzzy peach. It's like a it's, it's like just, a too, it's too much fuzz. Though. It's, it's like you gotta shave the outside and then it's fine. It's because it has like the the hairs. Like you could like lick it and feel the hairs and stuff. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, it doesn't taste that bad, but it's just the texture of it. It's just yeah, sort of not fun. For sure. Joey Watson says, Reese's cup covered in mustard in a diaper? I hated I church, church camp. camp. You went to church what? camp. Can you, uh, well, did this the happen only, to you? The only thing I can think of as, like, it was like a gross games thing mm -hmm. where they would put stuff that looked like shit in a diaper just to mentally yeah, they trip you out, trip you out that it's... But it's not really shit. So I, I hope that's what this was. Right. Not just like an actual like fucking trying, trying shit diaper. Oh man, this is mustard and Reese's. I assume that's what this is. Um, yeah, Reese's and mustard would be pretty gross. That doesn't sound sure. too good together. No. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. church camp does some fucking weird shit, man. And they wonder why, like, the kids grow up to be so messed up. <laughs> yeah, maybe because I ate, weird shit ate, ate, ate fucking camp. chocolate peanut butter and mustard out of a fucking diaper. <laughs> right. Like, Where are the adults? Yeah, and you all just took points <laughs> on who won. Like, All right, Malcolm McLean says, Those weirdly colored, shaped, black licorice candies that you find in, like, 90% of bulk candy sections in supermarkets. Yeah, dude, fuck those candies, too. Yeah, well, I hate like I hate licorice yeah. in, in general. Black so. licorice specifically is so yeah. gross. But, yeah, those can't. I'm so baffled that those candies, or whatever the company that makes those is in business. Yeah. I see them at every supermarket, but I've never they seen anybody buy them. They have to have a market. Them. They have to have a market It's, it's people old people. That show up at, like, 2 a.m. when no one's around because yeah, so, the they don't folk. want anyone to know that they eat <laughs> There's them. a shameful licorice They're just like, oh, okay. Yeah, those, that shit's gross. I hate licorice. Liam Schaffer says beans. <laughs> I fucking hate their dull flavor and their disgusting pastry-ass, pasty-ass texture. <laughs> beans, like beans. Just any that, bean? That's the most disgusting thing he's ever had. I was going to say, your <laughs> mouth is very privileged. Just eat, like, a bean. He's like, ah! <laughs> it's, it's like that video of the... The kid eating the, the green bean. <laughs> yeah, you're just like... Ah! Or like the old the the big it's woman totally that like sniffs broccoli and throws up. <laughs> I forgot. She's about like, that. She's like, I can't do it. Yeah, right. I need cheese. Beans aren't that bad. I mean, you got so many. You got kidney beans. You got black beans. You got garbanzo beans. You got lime beans. If you ever eaten hummus, that's like mushed beans. Yeah, it's chickpea beans, baby. That's right. Beans are pretty. I like beans. beans are dope. Arno Lacroix says oatmeal with spaghetti. <laughs> Grannies, man. <laughs> What kind of grandma? Did she have, like, Alzheimer's, or? I mean. Because that seems like something you just wouldn't make. I mean, I can see it as, like, as, like, you know how they put cornflakes in meatloaf? What? You've never seen that? No. Yeah, (laughs) Cornflakes and meatloaf? Cornflakes and meatloaf, dude. No, it's it's like you mix it in, so it, like, it's more, but it. Huh. You've never seen that? No, I've never seen that. I imagine that's what this is like, where they put it as, like, a filler, like, oatmeal with it. Obviously not, like, sweet oatmeal. Just like that sounds fucking gross. Just like, like texture oats. of well, because spaghetti doesn't have anything like chunky in it, and oats kind of have that like resilience yeah. to them. So I feel like that'd be weird adding that into a right. spaghetti dish. Yeah, I mean, I'll try. I would try that. I might be actually pretty <laughs> really. Good. I mean, like, fuck. yeah, just like well, if you take oats, boil some oats. The oats. <laughs> Did you brought up? Spam me the oats. The oats. Uh, Kate Taylor says, hands down, gluten. That. Gluten's amazing. Everything that's gluten-free <laughs> tastes like shit. What are you talking about? No, say no to gluten, bullshit. <laughs> Dude, gluten's the most flavorful Ugh. thing ever. I'm going to Drake meme you. Gluten? Mm. <laughs> oh, sorry, boy. <laughs> yeah, gluten-free boy over here. Jet Garcia says you're shitty content. Thanks, Jet. Get, your, get our content out of your mouth. Yeah, get, get quit eating our content. Dirty quit boy. consuming it. Yeah, quit consuming our shitty content. Um... Zacchaeus Jacob Hudak says a talkie, talkie and sour skittle smoothie. What's talkie? Those are little spicy like roll up chips, the long ones. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. That <laughs> just brought me smoothie. back to when we did the vodka and oh my god, the, the spicy che- mayo. The spicy. Uh, no, remember the Cheetos? Oh, dude, yeah, it was all thick. Yeah, <laughs> we had to eat with a spoon. Had to eat with a spoon. <laughs> I remember that. Shit. That was. Nasty. Yeah, that's that's probably what about that was. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Like the consistency of the Skittles would make yeah. it so chewy. It's Ugh. like chewy, spicy, cold, sour. <laughs> it's like all awful textures together. For like real, dude. Independently, not that bad, but just fucking miserable together. Yeah, well, I'm not a fan of. I I know what they are now that you say it. I'm not, yeah, I've had a couple. I'm not a fan of those. In I'm general. a fan of like a taki, a like one taki. Like what? Like, Talkie. All right, that was good. Yeah. No more, thank you. One sour Skittle, one talkie. Yeah, exactly. I'll have one. <laughs> you just one. Uh, Ratul Reza says, ass. Let me tell you, boys, <laughs> it doesn't live up to the hype. Now, we were, we were just talking about this in the car <laughs> yesterday. I've, I've eaten one ass. I have, wow. now, I have now eaten one ass. Yeah, can I get but, a large ass, please? But it was fresh out of a shower. And so it was like it's a skin n- at that point. Yeah, it was like no flavor, no smell. It was just like freshly cleaned asshole. Yeah, it's like eating like a clean puss. Was what it was like, only yeah. less wet. Okay. And I didn't mind, but I could see how like if you're just going for it. Yeah, yeah if you're like no plan. you have a you have a long ass night. And then, like, you go to a dance club, and then you go back to her house, and movie? then you eat that ass. That, I could, that, mm, I wouldn't do that. That's, like, that's 
all the sweat. Fun little game. That's all the time she's shit and wiped her ass. And there's little chunky yeah. toilet papers in there. <laughs> Maybe. If, if you get the kind that flakes, yeah. you know, the, the uh, flaky toilet paper. It. If I ever got a flake, uh, 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 I would like, uh, that'd, be, uh, <laughs> that'd be game over for me. Um, so it has to be nice. It has to be good ass if you're going to eat it. It's, it's is, freshly clean. I've only eaten one, so I don't have that much experience. But Not from too what much frame of reference, from what I've experienced, it would have to be like nice. Nice. Jeremy Henry says, "My ex <laughs> had your ex in your mouth." Yes, yeah, sloppy ex, huh? Sorry about that, dude. Sorry about your funky ex. I like how it's, it's like kind of sad. Like my, it's ex, like my ex, but then everyone's just laughing. <laughs> like he has a little laughing face next to it. Drown the sadness with laughter. That's right. Nicholas Brown says, one time my uncle made me close my eyes while I tasted something and ended up being raw oyster. I thought that was going in a completely different direction. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting feeling when you aren't expecting it. Are you sure yeah, it was Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, did you, did you swallow it? And he was like, oh, it's just a raw oyster. And then, but really what happened yeah, is that he oh, it was jerked a, off in your open mouth. Exactly. It was a gooey duck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you saw it? You got, I get crazy oyster. You're so wild. I think you should go under hypnosis. And try to recollect this because, yeah. or try an oyster now, yeah, and, and see. see if that was actually an oyster. Yeah, that's yeah. you may have been me too by your uncle. Yeah, <laughs> Tiffany R. Hoffman. Okay, I was high. <laughs> this that's how you start Started every great off. story. Uh, cottage cheese mix with cherry flavor Kool Aid as a dip for Cool Ranch Doritos. Please don't smoke weed without having proper munchies. That's when I was 21. I am now 41. So 20 years ago to the day. Yes. A cottage cheese with mixed cherry with cherry flavored, flavored Kool Aid. You know it's that a dip for Cool Ranch. The Cool Ranch Doritos, I think, is the off thing here because I have had fruity sweet cottage cheese. It's really good. Yeah, but that's fruity sweet. That's not Kool Aid. <laughs> But I mean, Kool-Aid's not fruit. That's, that's where the high sugar. comes. That's where being high <laughs> comes in. Like you don't have strawberries, you don't have cherry like sauce or something. So you Dude. do cherry flavor Kool Aid. Um, the Cool Ranch dip, like Doritos though, or the Cool Ranch Doritos are a little weird. Probably just out didn't have tortilla chips. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I'm going for Cool Ranch. <laughs> Brandon uh, Pathiel says, when I was younger, I put syrup on bologna sandwiches. Better than accidentally eating my friend's sick loogies, though. <laughs> syrup on a bologna sandwich. I've had ketchup on bologna sandwiches. That was, like, a big thing. With I, like... I almost feel like the syrup would be better than yeah. the ketchup. You think so? I don't know. Sweet bologna? Well, dude, you have syrup with bacon and shit. But it's bologna? Just like, this is a meat. I mean, it's, well, it's hardly a meat, but... I don't know. If syrup it makes sense, is so, and the maple flavor. Well, yeah, because it's a good contrast. Because meat's like really savory, especially bologna is salty as fuck. So if you put syrup, I feel like that makes sense. Because ketchup's also salty, so that that one sounds off putting to me. All but... right, we're gonna for sure have to do a follow up video <laughs> where we try like ten of these, right. and see how just bad to put they it to, to rest. Are. We should have like a bet if we think we're gonna see it's, if yeah. it's good or not. That's right. We're we're doing it. All right, Joshua Leonardville says the worst thing I've ever eaten was a Norwegian dish called lutefisk. It is a piece of cod that has been soaking in lye for days until it's almost clear. It has the consistency of a piece of snot and tastes horrible. I tried giving my plate of it to our dogs. They snipped it, walked away, and licked their butts instead. Snot? It ferments something until it becomes see-through. <laughs> Why would you... Isn't... I mean, I don't know much about lye, but that sounds like it's dangerous. Or don't like they use lye to, like... For like 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 leathers or something. Lie, lie is like you can like preserve bodies with like lie, and like. That's probably why it makes it see through. Yeah, that's. Gross. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to eat lie. That's terrible. I would never. Unless there's a different type of lie. A piece of snot. <laughs> what is this like a Norwegian delicacy? Oh, would you like some fishy snot? Would you like a hot piece of snot? Like just like bad fish in itself is bad, and then snot. Snot. Fish. Snot fish. One whole snot fish. What's wrong with you people? Spencer, that's why they created black metal. They're fucking tired of right. eating loot fist. Or whatever <laughs> the fuck it's called. Spencer Dawson, I did a food challenge on my Facebook a couple years ago and promised to eat the first 10 recommended items. The first, or the worst one was a dog food and peanut butter burrito. <laughs> Gross. I didn't puke though. I don't know if I want to try that one. My vote's for bad. Yeah. Oh, I can't try that one. It's got peanut butter. Yeah, I was going to say you would. You would go, ooh, I don't can't breathe. Breathe. somebody, my, my little allergic throat. to peanuts. Oh, no. All right. Chet Lewis, pig's brain, stinky tofu, 
and a goat's eye, just to name a few. The stinky tofu literally tasted like the smell of shit. So it tasted like shit. Like it smelled shit. Like the, but I imagine the smell of shit probably tastes pretty similar to the how the shit tastes. I don't know. I feel like the taste of shit would be exponentially worse than the smell. Like to eating the smell of it. Like if you ate something that smelled like shit versus eating shit. Well, yeah, because you're getting it in your sensory, mm-hmm. like your mouth. And well, just the texture of poo. I'd imagine it would be pretty fucking A goat's awful. eye. Was that like a soup? <laughs> right. That's a big eye. I just, I didn't even, I kind of glazed over that one because of the shit food. <laughs> the shit food. <laughs> but yeah, a goat, that's a big eyeball. A goat's eye. That's, I just picture that Raiders of the Lost Ark or whatever, when she's, she's like, I'll just have soup. And mm. she gets a soup and it's just a bunch of eyes oh, yeah. and shit float to the top. Fedencio Garza. Uh, gyna covered in... <laughs> gyna. Ye- oh, gyna covered in... Ye- oh, God, you're gross. Yeasty vag. Yeah, you didn't have to do it. I hope this was... Not true? Not true. <laughs> He's like, he seems so sad and defeated. Dude, I am. Like, it's just like, oh, God. That's what happens when you eat gluten. <laughs> <laughs> you get, get a yeast, yeast pussy. Gyna. <laughs> All right, Kobe Fimachak says I ate cheese that tasted like ointment. That sounds pretty bad. What kind of ointment? I don't know. Any ointment sounds like, bad. Like, like, like an oily, like... Tea tree oil? Like, <laughs> like, yeah, that does sound... That sounds, That'd be such a bummer, because yeah. cheese is relatively, like, pretty sick for the most part. Except we, for, like, I just found out about, or something. I just found out about beer cheese. I can't believe you didn't know that. that I didn't know thing. that was a yeah. thing. Yeah, beer cheese is lit. It's just, like, cheese with added beer. Yeah, it's like a German... Kind of thing. Yeah, I it's had super no good. idea that was a thing. And yeah, then it makes it like really thick. Buddy old buddy Rich. at Red Robin introduced us. Red rubies. Red rubies. Yum. Walter Pruitt says, alrighty, so my friends and I call this the abomination. It's a mixture of milk, liquefied hot dogs, Red Bull, Pepto, Carolina Reaper sauce, ketchup, edible kid toothpaste, and vodka. It's as gross as it sounds. <laughs> it's like a common <laughs> point. Dude. Why? What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Yeah, that sounds miserable. Why'd you do that? A liquefied hot dog on its own <laughs> would make me throw the fuck up. I know, why'd you throw the toothpaste in there? Like, at least, everything else is almost a food. I feel like the Pepto is be- so you don't, like, to instantly... the Reaper. Yeah, exactly. You don't instantly throw up and convulse. Yeah, that's fucked up, dude. That sounds miserable. Yeah. For real. And then toothpaste. Like, Kids uh, toothpaste. Specifically. Why don't you just throw orange juice in there, you fucking monster, and call it good? God, that's nasty. Fill it with razors. Well, now we're going to have to try <laughs> a lot of these. To... Liquefied hot dog. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, yeah, that's the worst things that you've uh, eaten. What's the worst thing you've uh, eaten? The worst thing I've eaten? Worst thing eaten? ever. Oh, buddy. The uh, thing that was just like... Too much? Hoo, hoo, in and mm. out. Dude. Pe- uh, the fucking the century egg, but wait, my guy. Oh god, oh, yeah. Petrified duck egg. Yeah. That was probably the, one of the worst things. I'm it's trying the worst to thing I've ever had. Think of the videos where you threw up the worst, like where you just could not. Oh, uh, just could not handle yeah. it. Yeah. Probably some sort of liquid, yeah. just because it's like too much of it, or the. Dude, I don't know, that cacao shit we did a long time ago, that was pretty fucking bad. That was really bad. That one sucked. It literally was like eating a spoonful of dirt. Like, yeah. it was just so dry, and it, the taste was so... It just tastes like dirt. Like, it was just yeah. a mouthful of this fresh, dry dirt. It didn't gross me out, though. It didn't, uh, like... I, it, I yeah, wouldn't yeah. have thrown up, but it was just, like... like because it was powder? <laughs> yeah, because I knew it was just, like, yeah. cocoa. But, like, if I know it's, like, a 10-year-old mm-hmm. egg that's, like petrified right. and there's a little fucking like chicken in there Dude, yeah, was... like an embryo like uh, the thought yeah. of that will make me throw Dude, up plus is that there was like there's no redeeming quality like it, the texture was god awful the yeah. taste was awful it smelled like cleaning products just like slime and knowing what it was was awful yeah yeah it was probably one of my least favorite things i've ever had in my mouth that was terrible uh, but that and uh that fucking that I still always say it, that Swedish candy we got the, oh, the yeah. black uh, the salty licorice yeah, thing sure, dude, yeah yeah that shit was Eat, bad eating a salty tire yeah so fucking what about you you have anything gross yeah, I'm trying to think of the videos we've done because for sure it would be dude, one that of oil the videos from the, the oil was pond. terrible yeah but still not the, really taste it was just the fact that it was oil <laughs> yeah was what like, about when you had to take like a spoonful of mayonnaise. 
Remember that? Oh my god, yeah, that was that was gross because I, my eyes were closed. I didn't, I didn't know what it was, <laughs> yeah. and so it was just like <laughs> trying to choke down some sort of yeah. like thick, creamy paste, and right. you, you don't know it's like. Oh. It's just terrible. I just feel it like slide down my throat and then just immediately jetpack up. <laughs> yeah. Like, what about the egg? The raw the, egg? Did you ever? You would know. You did that. I, I, did, I didn't. You do didn't that right. do that though. No. I, okay. I, the I, raw egg was really bad. Um, I don't think I've ever drank a raw egg before. I've drank a bunch of raw eggs, but like mixed together. Mixed with together it, yeah, with not stuff. By not itself. like by itself. That was pretty gross. Yeah. Yeah. And it, yeah, this just was not good. I don't know. It has. It has to be in one of our videos. Dude. Oh, you know what's really gross? I. uh... I fucking, when we did the, the sl tomato sauce slip and slide, mm -hmm. I rang out my sock into my mouth as a joke. Ugh. And that was pretty gross because I forgot that we had mixed the, we had tried, we put soap on the thing to make the. Oh, it sounds like the, soapy Yeah, so it was soapy, sauce. yeah, soapy watered down tomato sauce that was also from a sock. That's that was really gross. bad. That was a bad idea. <laughs> it was gross. Oh my God. It's like getting your, wa your mouth washed out, but also with a sock and tomatoes. Remember when we ate, like, the pig's feet? The oh, coagulated yeah, yeah. pig blood? Dude, yeah, that was a weird video, because that we all the stuff was really gross that it sounded like, but none of it was that bad, Yeah, like, comparatively. Right. It was, like, all the things that, were, yeah, that we ate, I was, like, hearing them, I'm like, I don't ever want to eat that, right. but the fact that we ate them, I was like, this isn't that bad. The chicken feet? The chicken feet was, like, the best part. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. The blood was probably my least favorite, because it was, like... Yeah, that was pretty bad. As soon as, like, it went in your mouth, it, like, started to become blood again. Yeah. Or it was, like, starting to decoagulate exactly, almost. Exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah, it just felt like I had a nosebleed in my mouth. Like, I was eating somebody's nosebleed. Uh, Someone's <laughs> nosebleed. Oh, you're bleeding out your nose. Oh, Come on. Man. Oh, wait. What about the time that you drank chew spit? That and well, the Jumex or the it was the monster, the dude snot. Yeah, yeah that was really gross. Chew spit was bad. The Jumex one was way worse. The, yeah. the snot, chew, chew spit's not fun to drink either. So, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Right, right. You just like take a swig of beer and like a cigarette falls mm -hmm. in your mouth or whatever. Like I've never done that, but I can imagine that's probably really fucking gross. <laughs> Eating a cigarette on yeah. accident. Oh man, there's a lot. We'll have to figure this out. Oh wait, dude. Okay, one more. Uh, so I had this, I don't remember what they're called, but it's like a Spanish drink. Uh -huh. um, they're they're like chili smoothies, essentially. So, Interesting. But, dude, it tasted like watery ketchup. Like, Ugh. it was so fucking gross. And everybody kept making fun so of me. So like, basically oh, white tomato people. juice. I guess, like but, it was like a, but it was like a slurp. It was like a slushy. It was, it was like oh, icy, God. and it tasted like watery ketchup. It was supposed to be like mango, That's but it, all it tasted like was spice, and it was covered with chili powders on the top, and there was uh -huh. this weird candy that was like a fruit roll-up, but it covered in like chili powder and peppers and stuff, huh, just stuffed onto the top of it, and it was just fucking just the sounds, grossest. That sounds terrible. I, it looked so good, too, and it was not that. at all. It was yeah. miserable. One time I took a big old wad of gum that this girl was chewing on and stuck it in my mouth. That wasn't gross, though, though, because I was, like, I was young, mm -hmm. and I was, like... So I've done things like that before. Yeah. Just a big old wad sounds gross. Though. Yeah, like... I mean, it was, like, it was like we were we were doing a competition of who can chew the most gum, like, mm -hmm. so it was, like, 25 pieces in both right. of our mouths, and then she spit it out. And you're, like, and I'm, then, I'm gonna win. To, like, impress her or something, I would just pick hers up and, like, how right. and, like... It was gross. Like, it didn't throw up, but it was, like, the spit, like, the cold spit hitting your uh, mouth and, like, right. flushing back was, like, oh. Right, you just got to try to pretend it's yours. Exactly. Ignore it. Ignore it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out OXA Pillows, and thank you so much for uh, sponsoring this video, and we will see you all in the next video. Yay, thank you. Bye. Yay. Later.